name is Ron James. I'm the president and CEO of the Center for Ethical Business Cultures, located inside the Opus College of Business at the University of St. Thomas. It's located inside of the University of St. Thomas because we have a very unique partnership that goes back almost 20 years. That partnership was really brought together because the University of St. Thomas and its business school has a dedicated commitment to ethics in the workplace. It was a natural synergy that we started to build on. It's been around for over 33 years. It was started by business executives who said, we're going to build great companies, but we have to make sure we, we're good corporate citizens, we're behaving responsibly. The center became a platform where they could come together and debate and discuss the issues that are going on in the community and what's the unique role that business plays in that debate we have knowledge about what's going on inside the business community and what are some of the issues that they're grappling with, but we can reach you know, to academic experts inside the institution who can help us understand the theory. Uh, we're a bridge, if you will, between academic theory and business practice. Midway through its life, uh, it started in 1978, the Center for Ethical Business Cultures created something called the Minnesota Principles. These were principles that help business leaders think about what's their responsibility to the broader community. How do they serve customers and employees as well as the community while making sure they're meeting shareholder expectations. Um, these principles were developed to give business leaders a guidepost, a direction in terms of what that behavior looks like. These principles were identified by global business leaders. We formed a relationship with a group called the Co Roundtable, and the principles developed here in Minnesota were globalized. Uh, they now appear in some 16 to 17 languages around the globe and are prominently uh, discussed in business settings. The center is serving as a project lead on a book to be written about the history of corporate responsibility. A generous grant came from a philanthropist back east to the University of St. Thomas and the Opus College of Business wanting to create a document that would be living, that would reflect back on a basic question. For whom and what purpose does business exist? This question we've seen being raised generation after generation as emerging themes have occurred in society, whether it's dealing with human rights issues, the environment, civil rights, women's issues, labor standards. Um, all of these themes have caused people to come to the table and talk about what should society's response be. Business has been a participant at the table. Our hope is in chronicling these events how these groups came to the table and how problems were resolved, looking at the lessons learned from successes and failures, we can inform future generations of leaders as they begin to wrestle with the ethical dilemmas that will confront them. We are creating two volumes of the history of corporate responsibility. The first volume focuses on the U.S. Um, that will be released in sometime in the year 2012. We'll follow that up with an investigation into the global history, uh, giving a companion effort to look at how businesses' responsibilities have expanded globally. Because we have outreach into the business community, we can bring real-world business cases back into the classroom uh, to give the students something to work on that reflects the current times. Sometimes the faculty will actually take those case studies that we bring in and turn them into formal case studies that can be used for future generations of students. Secondly, we actually bring the experiences we've learned in working with executives, sometimes even bringing the executives into the classroom as well so the student gets a first-hand encounter with leaders and understands how they wrestle with ethical dilemmas. The University of St. Thomas, ahead of the curve.